Net neutrality watch in full effect. Brian Stelter from the New York Times is on duty. The chairman of the Federal Communications Commission said Tuesday that the agency is looking into claims by Level 3 Communications that Comcast has unfairly erected a toll booth that threatens the open internet. And not only that, don't you think that saying FCC doesn't sound as impressive as saying the chairman of the Federal Communications Commission? To recap, net neutrality is an important issue for the internet. We think of the internet as being special because everyone online has equal rights. Depending on where you live and what service you use, you may have to pay more or less to get onto the internet, but once you are there, all data really should continue to be able to move around without discrimination. In other words, if you and I are both surfing the internet and we both end up using the same amount of bits when we are done, and yet I get charged an extra fee because my bits come together to make a picture, while your bits come together to make a bunch of text appear on screen, that's discrimination. It doesn't matter what the bits make, a bit is a bit. I get a bit and you get a bit. I should not be charged extra for the outcome of the bits once they arrive. The tricky situation here is that no one has the power right now to insist the internet remain neutral and free of discrimination. The FCC is one likely body to care, and whenever the issue arises, the FCC becomes interested, and generally involves itself at least with opinion. Government regulation could help to ensure a free and open net, but could also lead to other unwanted regulations. For having the US government control and regulate the internet is not exactly the definition of free either. The US essentially controls the current state of the internet because it controls the domain name system. So why is the issue of net neutrality happening now with the Level 3 versus Comcast spat? Business as usual. The debate has ultimately been caused by the rise in online video distribution over the last several years. The number of bits now being transferred online is so much greater for video than for most other forms of media. The content delivery networks which make up the backbone of the internet could potentially try and take advantage of making more money per bit if they ascribe different values to different bits. With companies like Netflix, which single-handedly uses 30% of all bandwidth in America during primetime hours, people are streaming way more videos than ever before, and companies like Akamai and Level 3 are competing for their business. However, all that bandwidth coming off of one server is too much, so today we use distributed networks to serve video so that the data is stored nearby you, instead of potentially on the other side of the world. To do this, the companies share the roadways. The sharing has been relatively balanced recently, but with a big old beast like Netflix, it now causes Level 3 to require more help from the others to help balance the load. And so naturally and contractually, Level 3 is required to pay to maintain an equal balance. If they need more than they provide, they must pay for the extra need. Well now, Netflix just moved from Akamai to Level 3 because Level 3 offered them a deal that was too good to be true. But that's because Level 3 is saying that they are not going to pay. Meanwhile, Level 3 is then trying to make it look like Comcast is not being neutral, because as a result of insetting Level 3 pay, that it's a net neutrality issue when it's really not. It's simply a contract obligation between Level 3 and Comcast. So really, this is looking a lot more like Level 3, the largest CDN in the world, is just being a bully. Comcast suggests commercial resolution is the appropriate path forward, and I think I agree, so far, for them. But if they don't resolve this, we could be left with a messed up internet, simply by the consequential accident of a contract, which would be very scary for setting a precedence for the future. The implications of a non-neutral net are devastating, especially to the democratization of media, and in particular, online video. If they are going to charge more because a bit is video, it will make it more expensive for video producers to use the internet for distribution. If it becomes too expensive to play, we could wind up in a situation that looked a lot like TV did 10 years ago, when you had to pay big to participate in the medium, and thus most people were unable. And not only that, internet providers might charge you more for watching video than they do for you to download other data, even if the amount of bandwidth ends up the same. Consider keeping your eyes on this, be vocal and speak up. We simply can't allow a few companies in a contract dispute for money to cause the internet to become unavailable to people who can't afford it. Don't let them take this powerful equality of access to information away.